I'm sure many of you have already seen the following video clip from a movie titled My Dinner with Andre from 1981. It's been shared so many times here on YouTube and across other social media platforms, but I want to give it a reshare because some of you may have not seen this. And what this man is talking about in this following clip from 1981 pertains directly to what's currently happening in full force here in 2023. So let's give it a watch. And when I met him at Findhorn, he said to me, where are you from? And I said, New York. He said, ah, New York. Yes, that's a very interesting place. Do you know a lot of New Yorkers who keep talking about the fact that they want to leave but never do? And I said, oh, yes. And he said, why do you think they don't leave? I gave him different banal theories. He said, oh, I don't think it's that way at all. He said, I think that New York is the new model for the new concentration camp, where the camp has been built by the inmates themselves, and the inmates are the guards, and they have this pride in this thing they've built. They've built their own prison, and so they exist in a state of schizophrenia, where they are both guards and prisoners, and as a result, they no longer have, having been lobotomized, the capacity to leave the prison they've made or to even see it as a prison. And then he went into his pocket and he took out a seed for a tree and he said, this is a pine tree. He put it in my hand and he said, escape before it's too late. See, actually for two or three years now, Chiquita and I have had this very unpleasant feeling that we really should get out, get out of here. Of course, the problem is where to go because it seems quite obvious that the whole world is going in the same direction. See, I think it's quite possible that the 1960s represented the last burst of the human being before he was extinguished, and that this is the beginning of the rest of the future now, and that from now on, there'll simply be all these robots walking around, feeling nothing, thinking nothing, and there'll be nobody left almost to remind them that there once was a species called a human being with feelings and thoughts, and that history and memory are right now being erased, and soon nobody will really remember that life existed on the planet.